Hello again. It's uh, all been about testing and polishing again this week. This is actually going to be my final video before Dead Exit comes to Steam. Version 1.0 is out on Tuesday the 20th of June 2017. I figured I'd better say the full date in case someone with an OCD finds this video in 10 years time and needs to work out which day it was. Um, we have a good idea of what we plan to add in version 1.1 as well now. Um, as we get ready for the Xbox launch, but uh, I'm still not going to be talking about that. Uh, instead, I thought it might be interesting for me to talk a bit about something that's currently not in the actual game. The parasites. That is to say, the thing that turns people into monsters and gets the dead up from the ground and starting chewing on people. Uh, and a good thing to have in the background while I do that is the first draft of the 3D model of the dead which has no purpose in the game as it stands, uh, so here it goes. Uh, so the dead in this universe are a little different from your normal wandering corpse that moans and wants to eat your brains. It's a very, very nasty parasite that slowly eats you from the inside out as it methodically replaces organs one by one with itself while mimicking their functions. Lovely. Uh, what is possibly a lot worse than that is that the parasite doesn't even want to kill you necessarily, it wants to spread. Um, reproduce. Once it's in your system, it makes its way to your brain and then starts to affect your behaviour subconsciously. You get a little more aggressive and without realising what you're doing, you might scratch or even bite a friend or family member. Uh, you'll somehow forget to wash your hands after going to the toilet and also at times just spit in people's food and drink while they aren't looking. More disgusting than that probably is that you will become both attracted to and repulsed by any wound you see. You will approach the wounded individual and without even thinking about it you might grab them near the wound and just deliberately vomit right into the wound. If you're very lucky the parasite can actually be treated in this universe with heavy antibiotics and a good immune system but once it's taken hold it's only a matter of time before it takes over completely then you're the enemy even though your conscious mind still knows who you are and that the people you're attacking are your loved ones so not the greatest thing but thankfully uh, not long after that your mind is completely consumed and your body continues to be a vessel for the parasite this is the point that the things are considered dead i suppose um sadly uh, as i said before the dead are not shambling weak loud and slow uh, their abilities vary wildly and they grow in strength with time as more and more dead flesh stops functioning and is replaced by the parasite, which can be a lot stronger and faster. Uh, it's during this stage that the dead want to eat so they can absorb more protein and fat so they can reproduce and replace the decaying corpse they're walking around in. Um, I say walking around, but often they don't. Uh, they stand perfectly still and silent, just waiting. In this state, they use almost no energy, so they can sit there for years, and they just fire out tiny particles uh, of fluorescent goo, which in turn launch even smaller particles back towards the main body. This is how they see, effectively. Um, they don't have a sense of smell at all. Um, they do kind of hear, they, they feel through vibrations, they're very sensitive to that. Um, so you wouldn't hear them at all uh, until they are aware of your presence. Uh, and then they're coming for you as fast as they can. It's also because of this, uh, the way their senses work, that the dead much prefer built up areas such as streets or buildings um, indoors. So whenever you go hunting for food, you're probably going to find them in there. Um, they'll only head for wide open spaces uh, when they become aware that food is there. Um, which is represented in the game when you go to the city and take a card and have some follow you back. Because those are the city decks. Um, the final thing that's dangerous about them is the, in many cases, a nice headshot will take them down. Um, but if they're in advanced stages of transformation, it, it just wouldn't be enough. Um, their mind is simple, but it's not centralized. It's distributed throughout their system, so you could take their head off and it, it'd stop them biting you, but it wouldn't stop them scratching you, ripping you open, you know, throwing your innards around. Um, Basically, the more they glow, the more dangerous they are. Hope that was a little interesting tale for you. Uh, now, buy the game in a couple of days when it comes out. But also, get in touch and get involved. 
If you've got ideas you think will make the game better, we want to know about them because we want the best game possible for everyone. I think that's everything for today. Uh, enjoy the game. <laughs>